Hey guys, so today I have another figure review. It's been a while since I did one of these actually because I haven't been purchasing a lot of figures. But I thought I'd do a review on this because why not? So this is a McFarlane Toys. You can see the logo here. And it's a Funimation exclusive of Toru Hagakura from My Hero Academia. Um, So... Funny thing is, I did look on this online, and it seems to me that it is a Funimation exclusive, so you cannot really purchase this, I think, in, like, other websites. You have to exclusively purchase it on Funimation. However, I will leave a link in the description box below if you do want to purchase it. Um, how it is, like... An exclusive like I said so you can't really find it in other like uh, places so they probably won't sell them on EB games however they openly put it so if you don't have a Funimation account you can actually just purchase this um, as a guest I checked my friend he wasn't a subscriber to Funimation but he was able to buy it so yeah, you're able to purchase it as a guest and continue to proceed to the checkout and everything like that. So yeah, this was $17, which is kind of really pricey for the type of figure that it is. And yeah, for those of you who don't know, Toru is an invisible girl, so you can't see her at all. Um, so... The reason why I chose to purchase her, even though she was overpriced, um, is because, honestly, I haven't seen a figure like this, so I wanted to buy it. Um, I also think, even though it's just gloves and shoes, I do think she's super cute, like her personality, um, so I really wanted to purchase this however again like i said the pricing some people might not agree i think it's 17 dollars usd or was it canadian i can't remember if the website actually translated the pricing for me but yeah so here is also it's 20 dollars shipping in funimation which is average price for shipping but you can tell that's kind of a lot of money for shipping itself so i do apologize if you guys want to purchase this and you see the pricing of the shipping and you're like whoa that's super expensive so just letting you guys know in case um so usually they put pictures of the figures they used to put like the whole um like animated pictures of the characters but they changed it to like actual pictures of the figures for this one they just left it empty which is kind of funny <laughs> super cute um but the back does have her uh figure it's just cropped out like the um the poles and the pegs and stuff the stand so that way you can just see the figure itself um these are 17 inches i guess she's that tall still so she goes well with the other ones i did already take out the seal under here there's a seal on top too you can break it any way i just decided to go for the bottom i was actually really excited to get this figure um because I haven't had a figure like this, and I'm still sort of new to collecting figures in general. The only figures that I've collected before were, like, Transformers, and even that, I wasn't super, like, I would collect a lot, but yeah, I, was, I didn't know too many things for Transformers, especially the ones that I collected were, like, Beast Wars series and other animals and stuff like that. I'm just opening her stand so it came in plastic packaging I'm just taking it out and I'm leaving this on here because if you peel it all off the white starts showing so if I want to display it and leave it in here um, or 
display my figures in the packaging, I will do that. So first up is the stand. The stand is clear. Um, for the other My Hero figures, it's just a black stand, but for hers, it's clear. It says My Hero Academia in white. And her stand's a bit different because it has like four different types of pegs there. So you will see. Okay, so I actually went off camera to take everything out. Um, I would say because it only comes with like a couple accessories, it's pretty easy to put together. However, they did not include a uh, instruction manual on how to do it. So I guess I will have to assume things. Um, I don't trust myself to know how to put things together. Honestly, it's kind of... tricky trying to figure out everything, but I think I can... figure it out. Sometimes for like figures in general, I just wish there was some form of instructions because sometimes you're just looking at it and wondering how are you going to put it together? Even though it's simple, sometimes it's just confusing. So I think I got her feet right and then I just need to put on her hands. I'll just show the hands close up. I should have done this for the boots too. Um... Here are the hands. One is a peace sign and the other is her hand waving out. And it looks like this. <laughs> it's really cute. Um, yeah, the only thing, I don't have many complaints over this except for the price itself. I was hoping maybe they did like more articulation on like the pegs themselves so you can move her hands around. Or maybe, you know, you could have more hands and more feet, like different gestures and stuff like that. I feel like the overall pricing is a bit much, but I do like it a lot. Like, it's a really cute idea. Um, it's almost like a joke figure, though, because it's kind of funny. It's just, like, an invisible person. But, yeah, I really like it. I'll show it next to uh, Kirishima. I have Kirishima here. Boop. So, yeah, she is technically seven inches if you could see the height difference it's just she doesn't have her body so you can't see that um ignore my phone but yeah that's basically it for this figure i know it's a short review but it's it's really it is what it is um but yeah i do like it again i'll leave links in the description box below if you want to purchase it all the pricing and stuff are on the website for the funimation stuff and yeah i actually have to do another review for a different figure too because i bought the second version of kirishima which has like the black sleeves um I'm still debating whether or not I want to actually do a review on that because it's basically almost the same thing except that it has the sleeves and that's basically it. But I might end up doing a review to show that. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye!